episode of Science Uncovered. Despite the grey skies of today's typical British weather, today we'll be looking at the question, why is the sky blue? Why do I think the sky is blue? Um, something to do with the reflection of the sea, perhaps, maybe? I know there's an answer about refraction and light part um, particles of dust in the atmosphere. Yeah, maybe chemicals or... Um, you don't accept the, uh, you don't expect the like astronomic, astronomy, uh, physical explanation. Yeah, yeah. Does it reflect from the sea? No, it's the other way around, isn't it? <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, the light coming off the sun is is all different colours, and if they all come straight towards us, we basically see a bright yellow. But when we're looking at the sky we're not seeing light that's coming straight from the sun, we're seeing light that's been scattered by the atmosphere down towards us. And the different colours all scatter in a different way. So actually the blue light scatters more than the red light. So when we look upwards we see more blue light scattered into our vision and less red light and so the sky appears blue. To find out why the sky is blue, let's take a closer look at light and how it travels. Light from the sun travels in waves. According to the electromagnetic spectrum, there's a range of different wavelengths of light. Red light has the longest wavelength, whereas blue light has the shortest wavelength. All wavelengths of light travel in a straight line unless there are obstacles in their way. When you look at a sunset where there's actually a large amount of air between you and the sun when you're looking sort of horizontally through the atmosphere, then the sun appears red because all the blue light has been scattered sideways out, out of the line of sight and it's only the red light that makes it towards us. So that also explains why sunsets are red. And of course if you've got lots of dust and other things in the atmosphere that, that makes the scattering more intense. The air around us seems empty, but of course it's made up of tiny molecules of gases such as oxygen, nitrogen and hydrogen. These gases act as obstacles in the way of light. What happens is an effect known as Rayleigh scattering, discovered by Lord Rayleigh in 1871. The shorter blue wavelengths of light are absorbed by the gas molecules far more than the longer red wavelengths of light. The blue light is then scattered by the molecules so that it radiates out and disperses in all directions. This is why the sky appears to be saturated with the colour blue. So next time it's a nice clear day and the sun is shining, you'll know why the sky is blue. If you've got any comments or suggestions for future shows, you can get in touch with us on Facebook or on Twitter.